Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mike Drewhan from Medex Health. How are you today, Mike? I'm great, Tracy. How about yourself? Mike, Medex Health has everything we love. You are one of the most exciting companies currently on the stock market in Canada. If you ask me for dark horses that are rising and are ready to charge, can you tell the Investor Intel audience what we both know about Medex and why you're so competitive today? Well, we're pretty excited right now. We've been uh, we've launched a new product called Derm Secure, and this is a platform that allows us to take our technology, which is our imaging capture technology, which is the only one like it in the globe. So we can take a picture on top of the skin of a melanoma or a potential melanoma or any type of skin cancer, but we can also look two millimeters below the skin. It is the best image capture system in the world. But now we've coupled that on top of a platform that allows us to be infinitely scalable on a global basis. And that's why you're starting to see the deals we're doing starting to emerge because of the acceptance and adoption of this technology. It's a very exciting time for MedX. Okay, well, the key words I heard here is you're now scalable. Is that correct? You've got it. Okay, so we've got scalable, and this means revenue. Does it not, Mike? Yes. Revenue is the big function. We've converted the technology with the platform to a SaaS model. So that means that there's a lots of recurring revenue in our, in our upcoming future and because of the way we can quickly adopt large scale projects. And for everybody out there that appreciates not only revenue, you've been achieving benchmarks one after another with regular news releases. And I just saw Brazil. I, I imagine Brazil is dealing with a lot of skin cancer. Brazil's very exciting for us. There's 212 million people tremendous amount of sun worshipers. And the problem with Brazil is they're capturing skin cancers very late stage, stage three, stage four, very costly to the government and much poorer outcomes. Our technology allows them to catch the skin cancers much earlier. So the government is deeply ingrained with us on this to provide a solution, early screening. The contract has built into it a performance clause that is quite meaningful from the revenue generation point over the next two years. That means that our our, um, our consortium down there is very confident with the numbers that they're going to be able to produce, and that means revenue for our shareholders. Okay, so I have to ask, what about Canada and the U.S.? Good old North America, Mike. So Canada's been a, a project of mine for the last uh, year and a half, two years. We have figured out the model in Canada. It's very similar to the model in Norway. We can go into pharmacy chains uh, right across the country and have accessibility to those pharmacy chains through medical doctors. You'll go to your medical doctor. Your medical doctor will, uh, if you have a suspicious molar lesion, send you into a pharmacy. We're in various stages of uh, very big contracts with uh, the Canadian and the U.S. market regarding that market, which is the pharmacy market, and we should have some news out on that very shortly. So, Mike, what should we as shareholders anticipate in the next quarter or two? And, and heck, what should we expect with maybe revenue? Right. So we just launched the Durham Secure platform. We're starting to now notice we're doing bigger contracts. The Netherlands, Brazil, there will be a few more announcements of that nature coming out. We expect Q3, Q4 is when we're going to really start to see the adoption of the technology in terms of installations. And we'll start reporting on an install basis. But you should start to see by the quarter three, quarter four. And if we do everything right, we get the execution right, we should go cash flow positive by that time. So we're pretty excited about, you know, the balance of this year and looking into next year, you know, uh, just continuing. This is all about execution for us now, Tracy. Okay. Well, you heard it here on Investor Intel. Mike, as always, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much, Tracy. Look forward to uh, talking to you again soon.